This is the saw stop saw with the break that will stop the blade instantly if anything conductive comes in contact with the blade, particularly designed to protect you from cutting yourself or creating a lot of damage. Um, it also though will stop, uh, the brake will actuate if you push through conductive materials such as metal and wet woods. Now obviously any metal is going to do it and so you want to put it in the bypass mode which I showed how to do in another video. There's an additional feature though, if you have some wood and you're not sure if it is going to trip it, there's a way to test the material uh, by putting it in the bypass mode. And when I do that, you'll notice that the solid green light means that it's not in the bypass mode. It defaults to the bypass mode. It will always set itself up uh, for your protection. But if you go through the process, the procedure of putting it in the bypass mode, which is quite simple, then the green light will be flashing. And that indicates that the brake is not activated. It will not go off. When it's in that mode, if you go ahead and put it in that mode and you have a piece of treated wood or some wet wood and you just want to see, you know, you want to have the protective mode on, but you want to just double check. Uh, make sure that that doesn't happen. So by putting it in the bypass mode and running the material through it just a little bit, if you get a red flashing light, that's the saw stop system telling you, yes, this material is too wet and it will set the brake off. So I'm going to show you how that works. Now I have to put it in the bypass mode. So I'll show you how to do that again very quickly. And then I will take this metal. Now all metal will be conductive. You know, uh, obviously the only metals that I run through my wood blades is aluminum. But uh, so I know that this is going to be conductive. I, I don't have any wet wood to show you. But if you again, if you had any treated wood or anything like that, you could do the same thing and just look for red flashing light saying, hey, yes, this is conductive material and you need to put it in the bypass mode and recognize that you don't have that safety or that backup to do it. So you can't accidentally put it in this mode. You have to be conscientious and think about that. Otherwise, if you run wet material through or metal material, you are going to actuate the brake and, uh, and then have to go through the process of, of replacing the, the uh, brake. So to put it in the bypass mode again quickly, I've got the solid green light on. It indicates that it's not in the bypass mode. I push in the button at the top here. And once they get the red light that flashed once, very quickly, then I'll turn it on. Now I have to hold that button in until the blade is up to full speed. If I let it go, it will just um, not set itself up and it'll go back to the solid green light. So um, first thing is, uh, so I'm, I'm in the solid mode. I'm in the uh, protection mode. I'm gonna hold it in, good flight. I'm gonna do it one more time here because that happens so quick. Push it in, red light. So again, it's a feature that uh, not a lot of people know about that have their saw stops, and that is that it has a system in it to test your material. You don't need to be running wet woods and just wondering, is this going to be too wet and set off my brake? You can go ahead, put it in the bypass mode, just a small cut, just enough through there so that the saw can sense the material. And if that red light flashes, it's saying yes. If this is not in the bypass mode, it's going to actuate the brake. Well, if you like these tool tip videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Most important, share the video with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.